Hello, my phone is working using a computer battery, lithium battery, old laptop computer battery. Yeah, full functional, still charging. After 45 minutes, it's still working. Awesome. I'll show you how to do it now. Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com, my name is Sipsky, your host. Today I'll be showing you how to take an old uh, laptop battery, a lithium laptop battery that you can't use anymore. You take it apart, which you see here, I took it apart and that's what I see here. It's a 19.1 volt, I believe, and uh, individually, there's six of them, right? Individually, when I measure the voltage, it's around 3.4, I'll show you right now. So, it's still usable. The thing is, you, you, you have to find a way to recharge these batteries. Um, you can still use it for, for example, lighting uh, uh, or re uh, uh, recharging or relighting a LED lights. So, it still works for that. And let me show you, and especially those powerful LED lights, you can use it. Okay, so let's see if I can I'm going to measure the, um, the voltage. You can, I know you can see that. Okay, measure it again. You can see here it's uh, 3.51 and 3.51. So that's how much uh, voltage I found in each of these rechargeable batteries. So it can still be recharged. Now you you don't want just to recharge it with any type of re uh, rechargers. It cannot be in, uh, nic nickel and cardium recharger. It has to be a lithium type. So where would you find that? Well. If you look at your old phone, like this is my Samsung old phone, I was actually going to throw it away and I actually end up using it uh, for a lot of things. For example, I was able to make, and you can check my other video, you can check up on the top left hand corner, and made into an LED light, LED, sorry, LED light, right? And it can be used for that. So I, I recharge it using the lithium battery that was built in and rewire it, and you can check the video out. And now it becomes a LED light. Okay, and it's rechargeable too, using this uh, lithium 3.7 volt uh, battery. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to take one of these LED, uh, sorry, these lithium batteries, take it apart each individually, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to charge it using the uh, phone, the old mobile phone that uses lithium 3.7 volt, and it should be able to trickle charge it. And, but make sure you monitor it. You don't leave it alone, right? Just monitor, monitor the amperage and all that stuff, right? So uh, make sure it's not hot, right? And then uh, once it's fully charged, and you can check that using your uh, multimeter, and you're ready to go, okay? But like I said, if you're going to do this, make sure you um, keep uh, track of it. Make sure you monitor it. Uh, don't leave it unattended, okay? So I'll show you how to do it right now. Okay, the first thing you want to do is to take apart the um, lithium batteries. Okay, there's all these uh, tape things, Jake. Let's take it out. Okay, and you might have to take a scissors. Let's see, let's see if cut it. All right. There we go. And I have a lithium battery. Now this is you know an old one, so you may not have like a it cannot fully charge, but still it's good enough for LED lights so you can charge it and then uh, and then um, use it for LED lights alright so so useful now let's check the voltage again there you go 3.51 perfect it seems to fit the same as this uh, lithium recharger on a uh, cell phone at 3.7 so in theory, I should be able to charge this. Okay, so what you want to do is, now since you have the battery, you're going to recharge it. Now you have to rewire it so that it be at the positive and negative terminal. Make sure you keep track which one is positive. So this is the positive end, this is the negative end, and this is the positive end, this is the negative end. And what we're going to do is we're going to wire it and charge it. And we're going to monitor it with a voltmeter, okay? Always do not leave it unattended because this is an experimental, um, uh, device, uh, mech, uh, machine, we need to, like I said, it's experimental, so you have to always be ca caution, 
of safety and all that. So never leave it unattended. Okay, so we're gonna do it now. Okay, so you need two pieces of wire, right? And and also a wire stripper, okay, to strip off the uh, the wire. Let's see. And there we go. Okay, so now we have one end and the other wire. We are going to solder it in. Okay, so what you want to do is um, look at your original uh, lithium battery and look at the terminal. It will say negative and positive. Okay, on the original uh, lithium battery, and then you match it on the terminal on the cell phone just to make sure because sometimes it doesn't have a label here. I don't see a label. So here it's saying it's positive end and negative end. Okay, that's very important because now we are going to put the positive with the positive and the negative with the negative. And I'm going to solder it in. Okay, we're going to solder it in now. Okay, now we're going to do the terminal side. We're going to solder the terminal uh, negative side. So let's test this out. We have a lith lithium battery, the old lithium battery from a, a old laptop. But this has been in storage for, I would say, three, four years. And let's see if it still works. And I believe it does. If you connect them, and voila. Okay, you can see that still, in, still have energy in them. Amazing. Now let's see if it can be recharged. Okay, so using your old uh, cell phone that uses lithium battery, 3.7 volt, we can uh, uh, charge them. Okay, so let's plug in this old cell phone. Now the terminals are labeled positive and negative. And then on here, we're also going to put it, I think I'm going to label this as it's, uh, positive. So I'm going to get mixed up here. Okay, so positive and negative. And I'm going to put the positive with the positive and negative with the negative. Okay, so connect the uh, terminal end of the lithium battery, positive to positive, negative to negative, to look something like this. Okay, so it's hooked up, but look, it worked. Battery, it actually charged this uh, phone, um, but it's saying low because, again, this is kept for, you know, a couple of years. Oh, it just ran out of battery, but you can see it actually works. So, let's see if we can charge it. Charge this lithium battery with a cell phone. Now make sure it's 3.7 um, volt, right? This is very similar to this one. Lithium battery is 3.5, um, 35. And you can see it's actually powering up and charging. And let's check the um, terminal end, whether it's been charged or not. I can feel it, it's actually charging, it's feeling a little bit warm. Okay, let's see, let's check the voltage. It's 4.02, very good. Now let's check the actual terminal. It's actually uh, charging, because remember it was 3.51 before? Let's see, what is it now? Yeah, it's going up, it's 3.69. Now we're gonna keep monitoring that and, and see. So in about five minutes, okay? Let's see how this number goes up, this voltage. Okay, you can see it's actually climbing up. It's uh, 3.73 now. 7.4. Remember it was uh, 3.51 before. 3.75. Very good. So we're going to wait uh, 10 minutes and then see how much it can charge up to. Make sure you monitor the temperature of the lithium battery. It should not be overheating. But because this is a trickle charge from the cell phone, the old cell phone, it's slowly charging this lithium battery. But again, this is an experimental uh, device. We need to always to keep track of it, make sure it's not left unintended. So I'm going to monitor it for another 10 minutes to estimate how much charge it will uh, 
give. Okay, so after 10 minutes of charging this, uh, this lithium battery, you can see here, let's zoom in, 10 minutes of charging, the battery is half. Amazing, after 10 minutes of charging this lithium battery. So now, my uh, cell phone can run on this uh, computer lithium battery, uh, 3.7 volt, I believe. It's slowly going down, but still, you can see it's charging quite well. Okay, so for emergency, there we go, a lithium battery from an old computer, which th you think it wouldn't work anymore actually can charge your cell phone, your old cell phone. Okay, so something uh, good to know. An old lithium uh, laptop batteries, this is actually about three, four years old, and it's still, once you recharge it, you know, uh, using a cell phone, right, as you can see here, um, you can actually use it to make emergency call amazing okay I'm gonna keep on going and see if I can make it a fully charged uh, phone Let's see how long it will take but again I have to monitor the temperature of this battery to make sure that uh, you know everything's going fine so we'll keep going with this experiment okay after about 45 minutes uh, 40 to 45 minutes you can see now the charge went up to around 4.38. The lithium battery is still pretty cool to touch. It actually hasn't changed in temperature, which is a good, so it hasn't overcharged. It's a good indication, right? So, um, I would actually advise you to kind of stop around one hour of charging, as long as you keep track, you know, uh, monitor the battery and feel for the temperature. Um, one hour of charge would be enough. I don't want to go beyond that just in case for safety reason you know you don't want this to overheat all of a sudden and explode right so just make sure that you charge it one hour right and uh, you know if you're not attending it I would say uh, don't even charge it at all but make sure you attend to this uh, device so while you're doing things just keep track you know have a timer to time it and feel every five minutes right but yeah it's now uh, I think it's charging quite well let me unplug the uh, phone go okay and let's have a look see how much is it telling it okay so halfway still so that means maybe I could charge for another um, you know you can see here it's going half so maybe we can go for another uh, half an hour or so but again I don't want to take a risk okay so this is indicating that it's charging pretty well um, this phone can use this battery right? So just uh, yeah, a computer battery, uh, 3.7 volt from a 19 volt battery. Uh, there's six unit of this in my laptop, my old laptop. I think it's a Toshiba battery, or I can't remember, but Toshiba Gateway. It looks something like this, right? And now I hooked it up, and there we go. I can use it to uh, call, right? So and it can be charged. It's chargeable.